Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. What size generator do I need to run a refrigerator? Starting watts equals 4 times running watts that means that 1000 W running watts will likely have about 4000 W starting watts. That means you will need at least a 4000 W generator to run such a refrigerator and freezer without problems during a power outage. Can a 1200 W generator run a fridge? Generators can run anything from a small lamp to a large appliance. Running a 100 watt light bulb, a 200 watt slow cooker, a 1200 watt refrigerator with a startup wattage of 2900 watt and a 750 watt TV would require 3950 watt. How big of a generator do I need to run a fridge and freezer? For example, if you want a generator to run a refrigerator and a freezer, the wattage, table 2, of the refrigerator would be 800 and the freezer would be 1000. To select the correct size generator, you decide if both refrigerator and freezer are to start at the same time. If so, you would need, 1800 x 4, 7200 watts. Will a 2200 watt generator run a refrigerator? It is perfectly safe to run a refrigerator on a generator as long as the generator has a higher watt allowance than the starting watt consumption of the refrigerator. The average starting watts of a fridge is between 800 to 1200 watts, so a generator with a 2000 watt capacity is sufficient. What appliances can a 2000 watt generator run? A 2000 watt generator is able to power just about every appliance in the house including small air conditioning unit, washing machine, dryer, refrigerator, microwave, hot plates, blow dryers, various power tools, water pumps and more. Only limit is how much a 2000 watt generator can run at once. How long should a generator run a freezer cold? Running the generator for a minimum of 1 hour should keep the refrigerator cool for up to 4 hours. Putting some ice packs, frozen water bottles, or any container with ice cubes in the fridge can also help keep it cold longer. June. 229, 1443-AH. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark.